Coming up this week on Stage to the Cage. Like, as someone who's suffered with depression and anxiety and things in the past, I think this is the best thing you can do for yourself. I've been through like the loss of my dad and my brother, and for me, like nothing can be worse than that. I don't know who he's facing, but that guy's in trouble. I can feel a black eye coming up. This is still crazy to say. We have got reality TV star Jake Quickenden taking on the comic phenom that is Paul Smith in a fight for Octagon MMA that will happen at the AO Arena in Manchester on November the 4th. These guys are just at the beginning of their journeys and they are seeking out the best training they can get for their professional debuts. Now, when you look at countries, at nations that have impacted the sport of MMA, with people who truly embody that fighting spirit, then you need look no further than the fighting Irish. Ireland is not only the home to some of the best gyms and fighters on the planet, but it is also the home of some of the sport's biggest stars. In fact, the most recognizable star, Conor McGregor. And just by chance, our stars happen to be in Ireland on the same week as each other, looking to add to their skills and maybe to get a bit of the luck of the Irish. So yeah, I come to Ireland to train with Webby's team. This is IFI Performance, which is his strength and conditioning coach. And I did a session yesterday and honestly, horrendous and I looked in the mirror this morning I was like why do I look 45 today but um yeah three sessions yesterday already done a session this morning back in here now and then striking session tonight with Chris who's uh, Webby's main trainer so yeah he's giving me a little introduction into the fighting life I don't know if I like it <laughs> Press, 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 it. press it. The last one's there, Jake. Get Go. Press. Yes. Keep going back to my hand. Back to my hand. Now pause it. This is your first time working with Jake. Yeah. Jake's yeah. training for 10 months now, committing his life. Good looking, aren't you? Yeah, very good looking. <laughs> Lovely set of conkers on him. <laughs> I think it's a huge thing that he's taking on because, again, I go back to average people. I struggle to get average people to go for a 30 minute walk a day and he's going to go about his career while taking on a second career if you ask me. So at 10 months I can't imagine what we're going to pull out but he's going to look great or well he already looks great but he's going to be performing better than he's already performing he's going to feel a hell of a lot better as well. Like, I'm expected of this year, it's expected of me, it's not expected of him. He does it, does how, a bitch. How impressive is that? Doesn't matter, mate, just fucking... For myself, just thinking, this guy, I've got to go and coach, and he just does everything you want. Phenomenal. You show him something, like, we, he, we, did, we did a load of, like, a load of single work, like, Khabib stuff yesterday. He gets it, he gets it, he gets it, you know? And then today, we're on the way to the gym, and it's like talking to a fucking guy after him for years. The mindset's on point, the attitude, the work ethic, it's all there, it's all there to fucking, it's there to make a champion, and that's what we're gonna breed. Lovely, he has to put extra fucking plates on there. He's a like ex world champion pro, do you know what I mean? So to be training with him it's just nice anyway. It's hard. But nothing in life is easy. If you want something, you gotta work for it, man. You gotta and it's not even about the fight, man, it's about this is about the journey. Embracing it, enjoying the, the whole experience. We've got a long time, so hopefully I'll be in good shape. Sorry, boss. Nine. Oh. Elbow sleeves, 20 reps. Okay. You've got to do this, Webby. No. To get to the box, you've got to do this. Fucking hell, that's hard, mate. Right? Lovely. Hey! I can do that better. I can do that better. Do a stack. Come on, you got that big dog. Let's go. I feel like you're too far away. I think you're higher, Jay. I think you're far away, boy. Big jump now. Think about having a power lift. It is a power lift. 
power. Ah. Yay! Fucking piece of piss, PB, oh, bro. Right, oh. before somebody does get a horse, well done, lads. He's bought one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Push, 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 legs on. Oh. So we are here at the Three Olympia Theatre in Dublin for the first of uh, four sold out shows tonight. This is probably my favourite place to do stand up comedy. Uh, I'll take it on and let you have a little look before other people come in. Um, this is it. I think probably the most beautiful place on the planet. Definitely the best theatre to do comedy. That I've ever done. It's, uh, it's incredible. Uh, it's mad the history. A lot of the hardy played this, so I'm in good company. Can't wait. Let's do some comedy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Three Olympia Theatre. Tonight we have the first of four shows in the I don't know how I've managed to wangle this, but we've got some training tomorrow with John Kavanagh, which is fucking phenomenal. I still can't quite believe that's going to happen. And, uh, and then Paddy Hula, which is again incredible. Um, I don't know how I'll keep managing to do this, but I've got some. I'm so blessed to be getting these gyms who are, and, and amazing fighters who are just are letting me come down and doing bits with me and letting me jump in the sessions. And they're taking the time out of the day to help me. Um, and it's just, I, as I said, I, I feel like this has got to get horrible at some point. Like, it's going to and everything will get awful and, 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 like, tough. But as it stands, like, my body's hurting and, and the training is hard, but I'm, just, I'm I'm learning so much about it. Like, my brain's just dancing. That's all I'm thinking about. <laughs> Oh, perfect, great show. Great show, congrats, really. I was sat next because obviously, like, I'm thinking, yeah, you're not, I was thinking, I was thinking, I was always thinking, I wonder how much he's getting into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People keep asking me if I'm nervous about the fight, and I'm honestly, it's not really, or if I'm looking at him, or if I'm thinking about him. It's not even into me yet, I just kind of, I'm just enjoying the kind of, I keep thinking to myself, what a mad. Like, when you look back on your life, you just think, what a life. Like, what a mad thing to do in your life, do you know what I mean? Like, not many people are going to get to say they've had experiences like I've had. Because I'm 40, I need to train smart. I really do. Like, I, I'm taking this seriously, but like, I'm the type of person, if left to my own devices, will just go, ah, and just go, I want to train six times a day. <laughs> I'm only eating steak. <laughs> Kind of like like moving around with him today and kind of watching how he's picking up the techniques over the last kind of few days. Uh, I'm seeing like uh, quick improvements, which is, he's a really good athlete. So it seems like it's going to be like uh, I think he'll pick it up pretty quick anyway. But um, it's a, like it's it's a big ask, but he, he seems to be up to the challenge. He seems to be like all in, and I see him and James have a very close relationship. Um, they seem to kind of similar characters anyway. You know, they're a bit of fun and they're nice lads, cheeky chaps, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I think that'll play. I think that'll be a big advantage to him. Both of the boys are coming in, and you're gonna see them week on week, battered and tired and exhausted. And it's hard work, man. I'm not gonna lie. My joints are hurting, my wrists are hurting, my legs are hurting from him kicking me. It's like getting kicked by a fucking donkey. <laughs> Hey, look, step across. Hey, on all the kids. I used to think I was quite hard. <laughs> and now I think I'm a right pussy. <laughs> Don't last 30 seconds with any of this. I try and think that I'm bulletproof mentally. And it's took me a while to get like that. I've been through like the loss of my dad and my brother, and for me, like, nothing can be worse than that. A head kick and 10 elbows in the face ain't gonna hurt me as much as what I was hurt then. So mentally, like, I'll get up and I'll train. I'll do that. Tell me to do it, I'll run. Tell me to do this, I'll do it. Like walking out for your first ever fight on a big show, like especially an octagon show, uh, but it's a huge show, it's massive, big stadium shows, like and they're fantastic, fantastic athletes on it already. And I think like um, for the guys mentally, that's gonna 
It's definitely going to affect you. That isn't going to be Jake's first fight. Or, uh, there's going to be fights in the gym before that. You know, there's some guys who perform better on the night, uh, uh, and there's some guys who lose a bit themselves. He strikes me as the type of guy that's probably going to perform well on the night. You know, we'll see. But yeah, that's that's how I see it going. Yeah. So I messaged him and, and he said he's in Dublin for a couple of shows this week. I said, well, you gotta, you gotta come in the gym, you know? So we're having a bit of back and forward, you know, I'm gonna kick your ass, gonna kick my ass. And then he, when, he, when he came in today, I have to say I was a, a little bit worried. He's in shape, you know? I, I thought, like I watched him on, he looked kind of, he's a little bit heavier, he didn't look in shape. And then he walked in and he's, he's a big boy, he's a, he's a big lump. and. He's got that, I would say, Liverpool toughness about him. I am expecting this to be tough. Yeah, look around. Everyone's moving like they know what they're doing. Not expecting this to be easy in any way, shape or form. Yeah, could feel a black eye coming up. <laughs> But he did great today, I thought he did very well. That's, that's the pro MMA class, that's some of the best fighters around. You got UFC fighters, uh, Bellator, Octagon, a lot of very good uh, talent on the mat. And he, he, he stepped in, he did the entire class. We had a bit of a tickle at the end. Like how easily he was able to manipulate me, and even when I felt like I was safe, I was like something was going on, and I was like, oh fuck! Before it, before before you know it, it's on, and he's just laughing, just giggling. He's no effort going, he's not breaking a sweat. That level of technique, I, I love watching this kind of stuff. So when you're like, that's the that's the best eating house, really, if you're in feeling it. And I find it, uh, I find it really entertaining. Although I'm getting choked and stuff, which is a weird reaction that I never thought I'd have. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Oh no, he's gonna get the leg! He's gonna get the leg! He's wearing it, head on. He won't get it! What the fuck just happened? Oh my god! Tidy up the guillotine defense, but well, that was demoralizing. <laughs> Some people just make you feel like a fucking toddler. Absolutely mad though. I felt good until I felt alright. Like, like, standard, obviously, better than me, but like, when you feel someone like that, even just messing with you, like fuck it, man. There's so many levels to this. Thank you so much, guys. He did good, he did good. Was it November? Yeah, November. Are you in good shape already? No, thank you. You're in good yeah, shape already, fair play. I'm on 86k, I need to be 77. Nice, nice. Yeah. that's a nice yeah. gradual step down. It's not yeah. too crazy. It's the hardest thing in your first fight, is managing the energy. Yeah. You did the walkout, yeah. 10,000 people screaming, you know, to be a big build up. 
and which one of you two can just manage that first 60 seconds? And you'll feel when he, when he grips you. This guy's a monster. Why? Because he's putting 100% effort into everything. Yeah. And you just ride the bull. Ride yeah. the bull for that first minute or two. And then you'll start becoming human. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, and you've got experience with that walking out to the big crowd and everything. So, use that to your advantage. I, as someone who's suffered with depression and anxiety and things in the past, I think this is the best thing you can do for yourself. If he can keep up this momentum, he can keep up this pace, keep, keep training from now until November. I don't know who he's facing, but that guy's in trouble. All right, good work, everybody. Well, I imagine that he's going to learn a lot about himself. By the end of it, he's going to be very proud of himself, that amount of effort he is. And that ability to set a goal, you know, it's a long, it's a year worth of training. It's a long time away. It's not just six weeks or 20 weeks. He's doing a year. See it through, keep pushing, go through the bad times as well as the good times. And at the end of it, have a contest, give it his all. He might win, he might lose. We don't know about that. 50, you know, fight, half the card win, half the card lose. But I guarantee you the day after it, He's going, to, uh, he's, going to, he's going to gain so much mental strength out of it. And that's what, for me, MMA is about. We've just come down to the beach um, to just do some like recovery stuff in the water. And I'm trying to do this every morning. It just makes me feel better. Look at the view, like, it just clears your head makes you feel better before the day. I think if you test yourself in the morning with something that you don't particularly want to do, like getting up at seven o'clock to go in the fucking freezing cold sea, then everything else in that day is fairly easy. So, and how can you say that that's not like fucking amazing, do you know what I mean? So. There's plenty of different reasons to get into something like cold therapy. For something like the lads, what I see it is, is it really helps you kind of get over post-adrenaline. So something like this coming down even gets you jacked up because you know it's not nice. You know the shock is going to be hard. So even for them, to help them even prepare for their walkout, not that it's anything to compare, but it does. The more you're exposed to adrenaline, the better you get at handling them byproducts of adrenaline and things like that. So getting in and out of something like cold therapy, testing yourself to something that you know is not going to be pleasant, that you know is going to get your adrenaline going. And completing it every day, as he says. You've got to warm yourself up now, you've got to do all the... Oh, oh, oh. I almost didn't fucking couldn't be asked to do that. Really? When I text you, I was hoping you was going to say, nah, I'm I'm going to stay in bed. Because I was fucking yeah. knackered. show I think he enjoyed it yeah it's just yeah it's nice when people come and enjoy the show it was a good show as well there's always a there's always that party where you think you know you invite someone down and then you think this is good this will be the one where it goes wrong but thankfully I smashed it like it was there uh, you have me today and it's I thought I'm all right here and then he went believe me I was like you're fucking rascal you kind of got me like you're more social and I was like that's actually pretty uncomfortable I knew, and I was like, fuck! <laughs> like, I'm not tapping because I'll never hear the end of it. Like, I've got one option left. Yeah. <laughs> it worked though, yeah. and I was like, and he shifted a little bit, and I was like, ah, okay, I can breathe again. I'm not gonna lie, because it didn't work. Next time on Stage to the Cage. Buddy, what'd you do? Fight? I couldn't imagine my, my life without Leo and Freddie, if I'm honest. It's nice to see de definitively that I'm getting fitter, getting lighter, getting stronger. That's what I've got to lose. That's what you've got to lose. I'm going to have to chop the dick off. <laughs> he treats it as if it's his full-time job and he treats it like a professional should do, yeah. so it's good fun. Send him back to X Factor. Be an X Fighter after this. <laughs> what? Hear that? X Fighter, mate.
I literally can see three of you. I can see three of you. I need to start training more.